All right, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna go over hooking up six 100 watt solar panels onto this 1500 watt Blue Eddy. Now you can also get one just like this. It's a 2400 watt hour Blue Eddy. Just so I don't forget to tell you all this stuff I'm gonna put down in the description what I use to hook this thing up. I have a bunch of cables and I have my multimeter that I'm gonna check the voltage so I'm not over the voltage on this because you can only go up to, well it says on here 16, 16 to 60 volts. Now they sent me an email. I'll show you that here on the screen, the email they sent me, which looks to me like I can actually go up to 68 volts. They must have a little leeway on this. They just don't want you to go over that. And I think even with these six panels, it's not gonna be over 68 volts. I'll show you how I'm hooking it up. If you wanna know more about this, I have another video on going over all the specs of this. This Blue Eddy would be real good for like a power outage just to run maybe a fridge or a freezer. Or if you wanna hook it up to your TV, it'd be good for that. Be also be good for tailgating maybe even some camping now, i've actually even run my pellet stove off this i think i have a video on how long it run that i think it was maybe around four or five hours it ran my pellet stove and you could even maybe take it out in the boat now i'd be really careful getting it wet if you're out in a boat in it because you don't have to keep all these solar panels hooked to it all the time that you can just use that to charge it all right let me show you how to hook this up this is a little trick to Make sure your panels are setting exactly right facing the sun. If you take a cap like off of a paint can and you stick that cap on your solar panel like that, and if you have no shadow, which mine is showing a little shadow here, so if you could, if I could get this sitting so there is no shadow, which I'd have to move my panels a little bit. But if you don't see that shadow, that means you have these exactly facing toward the sun. Oh, and like I said, all this stuff is going to be down in the description. And just if you would get on Amazon to look for this, they pretty much always have a coupon on there. Make sure you look for the coupon because that is going to save you two to three hundred dollars if you put that coupon on in when you go to check out. All right, this is all the stuff that I'm going to use. I have two 40 foot cables here, uh, MC4 cables. These are eight gauge. I have two splitters. That I'm going to use. I have the MC4 to 8 millimeter plug. This this came with the Blue Eddy. Stick that there. And I got my multimeter that I'm going to check the voltage on these panels. And I got two six foot extension cables. All right, let me show you how I have all six of these hooked up. I'm hooking this all up in a series parallel. These three panels here are connected together. I have a negative and positive connected together here and I have a negative and positive connected here. You can't really screw this up because they're all male and female connections. And then the same with these three. I have a negative and positive connected here and I have a negative and positive connected here. Then I have a negative on this one and a positive one on this one and the same on that side. This might be a little easier to show you like this. This pretty much just like that. See, I have this negative and positive, that negative and positive, and same there, negative and positive, negative and positive. And then I take this positive, go to a splitter, take this positive, go to the splitter, and then take this negative, go to that splitter, take that negative, go to that splitter. Then it goes to the blue eddy. All right, I got these all hooked up. Now I'm gonna check my voltage, which if you buy this multimeter, you're gonna stick it on this V 
and it should be on DC. Now it says it's not supposed to go over 60 volts. And actually, like I said, they sent me an email saying it could go up to 68. And with all these hooked together, I'm gonna put the positive in there. You could put these either way you want. It'll just show a negative if you put it backwards. Now that is, looks like it's just a hair over 60 volts. So this should be good. Now this system says it's only supposed to go up to 500 watts, but I've never seen when you hooked up solar panels where you got the exact amount of wattage. Like this is 600 watts. I'll never get 600 watts out of these panels. So we're gonna hook these up and see how many watts I can get out of these six panels. It's probably gonna be hopefully close to the 500 watts because this is a pretty cold day and solar panels seem to work better when they're running cooler. So let's take, this is the plug that came with the Blue Eddy. Let's hook this up. See what we get out of these six. 200, 300, 400, 480. See that's not even, it's going up to 488 watts. Let me show you. We're at 488 watts. Now my panels could be turned a little bit and it would be a little higher. So you can definitely hook up six panels to this thing. All right, well, there you have it. It looks like you can easily hook up 600 watts of solar panels to this Blue Eddy. And I'm gonna put these solar panels down there in the description also. And then you, with these, hooking these six up here, you will get, it's pretty much gonna give you that, it'll give you what your max amount of wattage you can put into this with these six panels and the max voltage that will go into this. Wait up, girls. These are my girls right here. Here's Piper girl, huh? Say hi. All right, thanks a lot for watching my video. Please leave me a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Thank you very much. God bless and have a great day.